Hey, I'm Roland with mobilegeeks.com and .de and we're right here in Berlin, Germany and I finally received my Geeks phone, developer phone from the company of the same name from Spain, from Madrid. After some decent problems with their shipping system, after they may finally made them available to order, I actually just contacted, contacted them yesterday and they actually managed to ship it over to me within one day. So this is the Geeks Phone Peak. I already got it out of this shipping package from UPS. So this is the box right away. Um, as you can see, it's plain paper uh, cardboard box. Looks kind of uh, environmentally friendly. And yeah, let's get it out of the box, right? In the German video, it actually took me quite a while to, to get it out of the box, but now I know you can just drag here and open it. Um, there you go, that's the phone. It's got a 4.3 inch QHD display. Um, and it's really, really light, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's put the phone itself to the side. Under this cardboard is a couple of informational materials. This is like a quick start guide that you probably know from other smartphones. But there's a couple of other things in here. If I can finally get it out of here. Um, so this just tells you how to get started with Firefox OS because they're using a couple of um, uh, gestures to turn on and off or like navigate through the menus on the device that are different from other companies or from Android at least or from, from iOS. Underneath this, there's my personal guarantee program card, a nice Firefox OS developer preview sticker, so I could put that on my card if I had one. And that's pretty much it. There's a little tiny booklet in here telling me what certifications this actually applies to. And there we go, this, this is the battery. It's got 1,800 milliampere hours should last about maybe like two days if you don't use the phone too often or don't spend all the time on the web but as the Firefox OS phones are made to be connected to the web most of the time you're probably gonna run out after a day or something um, it's quite thin looks as the phone itself it's made in China though designed in Spain you gotta remember that let's put this aside that's the USB plug with the German adapter down here. Uh, it puts out one amp so should be loading the phone pretty quickly and yeah looks like pretty much like one of one of the uh, plugs you know from HTC phones or I mean like nowadays all the companies have pretty compact uh, power adapters. Uh, this is the headset it's just your plain basic two dollar headset white because the phone is white and the micro USB cable and that's pretty much it that's all in the that's in the box I paid 180 euros plus about 20 euros shipping and fees and all that stuff uh, the phone itself should be available everywhere in the world starting out at about 160 dollars this is the high-end version they're both not really high-end but the Kion that's the smaller one that's only got a 3.2 inch display and yeah, I didn't want to get that one because, well, being European, we're more used to this uh, more high-end or mid-end phones. And since we're mostly as mobile geeks serving the U.S. and the uh, uh, European markets, I thought it would be better to get a mid-range phone. Um, I already got the cover off. I'll just do it again. So the phone is totally made from plastic. And it feels really, really light. I mean, I, I haven't put the battery in yet. I'll show you in a second how that works. But it's it's decently thin, <clears throat> but it's really, really light. It's all plastics. I don't know if the front cover is Gorilla Glass, but I could look that up. I don't think it's Gorilla Glass. It's it's basically it's kind of a cheap Chinese-made phone, which you can actually tell because there's a couple of uh, things that will let you know that. For example, like this button, it works pretty well, but it, they're like um, not the most sturdy or no chromes on it. And I mean, it's a developer phone, so um, it's they're keeping it low. It's It's got a low profile, and I actually like it. It looks pretty good. 
as I said, 4.3 inch screen. There's 512 megabytes of RAM in there. It's got 4 gig ROM and a micro, micro SD card slot. I'll show you that in a second. And up here we have a 2 megapixel camera on the front. There's an 8 megapixel shooter on the back plus an LED light right there. That's the power button and the volume rockers. The volume rocker is really tiny, but it works, feels good, and works pretty well. Um, down here we have the home button. That right there is a mic. Up here we have the speaker for your ear. And right next to it are two sensors. That's a proximity sensor and a light sensor. So it'll adjust the brightness of the screen just as you know from other phones. Uh, down here we have this speaker on the back. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Up on top is the headset port and a micro USB port. Um, let's open it up. I already tried this in a German video and it's kind of hard because it's actually not really made to be taken off that often and I hope I don't break anything because I just got the phone. But that was easy. So there you go. It says Geek's phone on there and made in China, engineered in Spain, just as Apple does the same, developed in California and built by Foxconn in China, right? Um, the model number is GP201. Uh, this is the Geek's Phone Peak. And up here we have a micro USB port, a micro SD card slot, and this right there is the full size SIM card slot. I haven't got a SIM yet, but I'll just put in the battery and start it up for a second. Uh, let's get the back on here again. You gotta remember to slip it in up there first because otherwise it won't close. But once that's done, the phone actually still feels really light. I mean, should be around 120 something, 124, 130 grams. And yeah, let's turn it on. There you go. It says Geek's phone right there. And it's made for geeks because uh, it's a developer phone, so it's not an officially sanctioned phone from one of Mozilla's corporation partners like Telefonica from Brazil or Spain or Europe at most, or from Sony or anything. Uh, yeah, that's how you start out using it. You just select your language, pick out one of the Wi-Fi's. I haven't done that yet. I'll show you the phone itself or the UI itself in another video later on. Um, it's about 6 p.m. right now so I'm just gonna set it to that. The UI is actually reacting pretty good so far. I'll just leave it right there. This is where you can actually import the contacts from your SIM card or from Facebook. Say Facebook is actually pretty much present on the phone because you're using the contact data from Facebook but you can also use other accounts like Google or other services that do the same contact wise. Let's go on. I uh, want to help Firefox or add to, add to improve Firefox and you just enter an account so you can be part of the Firefox community and then you're done. So what it does is give you a phone, of, give you a tour of how to use the phone. I'm gonna do that just right now because I haven't done it yet and I'll see you in another video. So this is the Geeks Phone Peak we're running Firefox OS, I was rolling Mobile Geeks. See you later. Bye.